In Oklahoma City, a delivery has arrived. Human heads. They'll be flensed, chewed and bleached until they're ready for museum display. We provide skulls and skeletons to just about every major museum in the country, as well as many throughout the world. You guys want to scrambled eggs? Sounds good. It's a grisly job in the extreme for this seemingly wholesome family next door. Head of the business and of the family is Dad Jay, a self-confessed skull junkie. I'm involved in just about every aspect of the company. There's no job that I haven't done, and there's no job that I won't do. The human skulls come from bodies donated to science. And dead animals are obtained from a variety of sources. In this case, a nearby farm. It takes a lot to gross out my children because they've been born and raised around it. Ooh, boy, do you got a dog. One of the first carcasses that I ever worked on that I can remember any of was when I was about three or four years old. Wow, is that a dog? My oldest son, Jay does whatever's necessary to get the job done. Grab the gloves too, bud. He'll jump into a trailer and uh, cut the head off of an animal. Head and legs? Are we taking yeah. just the head or what? Head and legs. My middle son, Josh, he's our college son. He's the one that's going to college to hopefully uh, dig himself out of the trenches where he doesn't have to get dirty. I really enjoy working online, uh, photographing, a lot of the computer work. Just make it look good like you always do. My youngest son, Jaron, he enjoys working in the workshop. He likes getting dirty. I'm pretty much the person that they go to when they don't want to do it. What's your knife, Jaron? Right. Anything that's rotten, bloated, they don't want to do it, they'll make me get in there and do it. And then my uh, nephew, Joey, could you uh, check the teeth? And... He's a finisher. He will finish the skulls and skeletons once they come out of the processing division. Daughter Shayla and wife Kim keep their hands clean doing office work and shop work. They steer well clear of the processing division, the gruesome heart of Skulls Unlimited. Here, body fluids, brains and blood make for putrid odors as humans and animals are reduced to bone. I don't care how many years I've been doing this, it never, never stops from stinking so bad. For most, it's disgusting and taboo. It's just vile and, and repulsive because of a deep-rooted desire um, on the part of the living to make sure their loved ones' bodies maintain a certain integrity. You even have the first molars 